Amanda. I'm Dustin. This is Ezra. This is Maisie. And this is our school bus. This video is sponsored by Bioptimizers. Go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb to get a 10% discount using code Florb10 at checkout. And remember to subscribe. When we had Ezra, Dustin was working a lot. He'd leave the house right when Ezra was waking up and come home right when I was putting him to sleep. And we watched this video. I think it was Expedition Happiness. Yes. We were just like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if we could live like them? And then we kind of just sat there and was like, can we live like that? I just scoured the online options, flew to Ohio, picked it up, drove it home, started building. Didn't have any construction experience, only painting houses, that's about it. I think we tried to do some CAD, some SketchUp type stuff. It just took longer than we thought the benefit of it would be. So we kind of stopped doing that. The biggest thing was once we had the bus demo, we started taping the floor off and seeing where things would go. We made a lot of edits during that process. Yeah. Getting a feel, walking through and seeing how tight the walkways are gonna be. There was a few times we thought we'd need more space and we'd walk through and we're like, actually we can bump the couch out a little bit more. Like that would be fine. I would say the hardest part about the bus is just working with the curves of the roof. I'm sure the van people have the same kind of issues. I think it probably was like 35 to 45,000. And that's with a full solar setup, full off-grid batteries. It's definitely in counting. I feel like the bus is never quite done. No, we're always fixing something. This is our bus. It's a 1999 Thomas safety liner, 40 feet long, which is the largest bus that you can get. Ours has six and a half foot high ceilings in the center, which is higher than the standard. So that was one of the things we were looking at to make sure we had the extended, the extra high ceilings. Um, and we wanted a full length bus just so we could have our whole family on it. The bus wasn't done when we started traveling. So our whole paint job was just done in the woods. It definitely needs a touch up. And then we did stripes down the side just with some spray paint cans. It looks really good from afar, but it's definitely not professionally done. So that's something that we have in the plans. Coming down the bus, this is where all the fuses for the bus that runs the bus, it's all in here. This was the old, stop sign the plan was to do some sort of sign on here but we never got around to it over here this is our batteries these are also hooked up to our house batteries inside so we can charge off the alternator on our house batteries or if these died for some reason we can start the bus off of our house batteries which is pretty cool we've got pretty large under storage here goes the length here and then we have two more on the other side. This is our intake and exhaust for our propane furnace. It's under our sink, it works pretty well. It uses a lot of propane though. We could probably run six months just running our stove in hot water, but as soon as we start kicking on the heater, it'll last maybe a week. So that's a 12 gallon tank in there. We always bring a grill size tank as well. It's easier to fill up if we don't want to move the bus, we can just take the grill size tank. It's also just for backups. Um, and if we're in a place for a long time, we'll go through this whole tank and then we'll only use the grill size tanks, um, which we just sit underneath and it works fine that way. Here we have plug-in for shore power if we're ever around somewhere that we can use shore power. This is where we fill up our water. This thing can fill up our tanks and we also have a valve inside where we can change it to pressurize the whole bus just off of uh, the hose. Yeah, so we have uh, these two max air fans. Usually we have one sucking in and one blowing out and it creates a little draft through the bus. Uh, over here, this is our stack for our wood stove. When we travel, we take the cap of it off and we cap it with something that won't get caught by the wind and blow away. And then we have our four solar panels, somewhere between 12 and 1300 watts of power coming in. They're sitting on these mounts that I made myself. It's plenty for what we use. Um, we can charge up our batteries in a day if, they're, if the batteries are really low, it's no problem. And then over here we have the deck that we built. We built the mount for it when we did the solar panels and we added the wood, I don't know, like a year later. We don't come up here very often. We kind of wish that we didn't have the deck and we had a skylight right here. 
And then here we have a little cell booster. These things work okay for us. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they don't work at all. These are like $400 and for it to work only sometimes, I don't know if it's really worth it. Back here we have a backup camera. This I've made to be able to hold a mountain bike so I can mount it up here going up. We added this hitch and this is a tow bar. We pull our Jeep sometimes, depending on the trip and how long we're going. Back here, we have some storage under our bed and some water tanks. Our bed's there and all that's just storage. We have an outdoor shower, um, hot and cold water. And then something we did that we haven't seen very often is we put one of these awnings on um, from a traditional RV. We just pulled the frame off of a junked RV, bought a new canvas and the frame works good. So wherever we are, we can just pull this thing out and get some nice shade. All right, so here is the entrance of our little home. We've got our hat box where we keep tons of hats, train set for Ezra, a bunch of my homeschooling curriculum, extra blankets that we just kind of toss on the couch when we drive. This is what we call Ezra's entryway. We kind of follow the Montessori philosophy and try to have everything at his size and his reach so he could be independent as possible. So he's got his shoes there, he's got his little coat hanger, and even a little mirror so you can check out how cool he looks. This is our battery box. We have four 235 amp hour batteries. They're six volts each and they're all wired in 12 volt. In our inverter area, we have a MPPT Midnight Classic charge controller and an inverter charger. And this is a little sensor that keeps track of the temperature. And when it gets too hot, it kicks on this fan right there and sucks the heat out. So this is originally mounted to the face of the charge controller, rewired it so that we could still easily see all the information on here. I definitely wanted white to make it feel a little bit roomier, even though it is tough to clean, it's always getting dirty. And then I didn't want it to be stark, so we wanted to add some orangey tones to the bus and we felt like that kind of gave it a retro vibe a little bit. We have our couch and it pulls out to a full-size bed. We get asked about our couch cushions all the time. They are just custom cut foam pieces and we wrapped them in vinyl. We used grommets and just paracord and we wrapped them like a Christmas present. And uh, they have been so good with the dogs and the kids. You just wipe them clean. We've got a couple of storage spots under there and some storage under here. This is the kids' toy shelf down here and our homeschool and stuff up here. Here's another thing for Ezra. He's got his own little pull-out table that he could bring his little chair over to. We've got the bigger version for ourselves and we try to have everybody around it when we do dinner. So that pulls out like that. We've got our chairs in here. I think I found them on Facebook Marketplace. Lots of it is Goodwill. Drawer handles in the kitchen are from Etsy. And then we made a ton of stuff too. The biggest space in the bus is the kitchen. Two of us could be standing in here and the kids could be playing in the living room or in the back and you're not just like on top of each other. This is actually a deep freezer. It goes from here all the way down. So we keep a lot of our frozen fruit. We, we do a ton of smoothies. I saw this in a bus actually. They had a super cool countertop. It's just plywood all glued together. And that's what this is. But this one's not as finished. We wanted like the rough look on here. The sink is my favorite thing. I mean, we don't have a dishwasher and with a, you know, a family with kids, they're always in the bath. And the big sink is one of our musts for our family. This was an Amazon find. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little small for our family. When we drive, we really need to clip it in down here. It's a type of child lock. And then it just clips out. For the price that we paid, it was under 200 bucks and we'll just get a new one when it's done, you know? <laughs> but we just cut the um, plexiglass and Dustin had to reinforce the metal that he took out. Um, but this was like my surprise one day. He was like, look what I did! Because <laughs> we were gonna do two small ones and um, this is so much better. Here's like another little Montessori station. Um, the kids have a little mirror. 
to see themselves in and they have little affirmation cards that we try to do every day with them. This is the dog station. They drink there, they've got their food there. Um, this is our pantry, our towels are up here. Um, yeah, we've got our tiny wood stove. This was an addition that we didn't know we were gonna do. And that's why our flu is so funky. We kind of had to figure that out. Um, we do have to take the hamper down, of course, when we light the fires, but works for us. Okay, so here's our little bathroom. We've got our own composting toilet that we made, and that was our second attempt. The big thing to do is put a fan in the bucket that takes the smell outside. Uh, we used to have a really beautiful waterfall copper shower head, but it just wasn't good for road life. So now we have this RV style one and it's oxygenics. So that works for us. And got a little bench and the kids toys. This is real tile, yeah, we did it ourselves. Since it's so small um, and they're penny tiles, we were just mostly concerned about balancing the weight on both sides. This is where Azra sleeps. He's got his closed drawer here. And these are blackout curtains, which when he was a baby um, seemed really necessary for us and we still use them for Mason. This is Mason's crib. Neither of our kids have ever felt caged in or anything. They actually like Mason will not co-sleep. She just is kind of like me, like she wants space. And our kids have so many books. They're all hidden in different places. This is one of their shelves. So this is our laundry area. It's a washer and dryer combo. I think it was a little over a thousand and the brand is called Splendide. We pretty much never use the dryer because it requires us running the generator, which we never really like to do. And so we hang dry our clothes. Usually we have a rope and we'll find a couple trees and hang them in the sun. We keep Mason's clothes up here. She even has like a little basket of socks. This is a closet um, that we hang select clothes in. 200 gallons of fresh water storage. We could always peek in. We could see the water level. So we could see if we're good or not. My drawer, Dustin's drawer, they pull out practically this whole hallway. This is our king size bed. We keep diapers up here, baby blankets, extra books. Um, we also have storage in here for different things. It goes really deep. Um, and so, I don't know, Dustin's got a sun hat in here. It's really random. So here's the vanity. Super simple. It's on a track so that it could also double as a door. When we drive, we need to hook it in or else it's just sliding all over the place. So everything is ready to go on a drive. Um, this is the only TV we have in the house so that we're just not prone to turn on the TV. But we do have one in case it's a rainy day and we're watching movies and Dustin and I like to watch shows at night. So I think that's about it for the bus. Just like time together has been the best thing for our family. We really have gotten to know our kids so much better. And we know that, you know, they might not remember all these adventures and the places we've been because they're so young, but we do still think it's shaping their character and who they're becoming and growing up to be. So we just think it's been so beneficial for raising our kids. You know, something unexpected I think is the type of relationships we formed with other full-time families. We weren't expecting that. Mm -hmm. We weren't expecting to meet someone once and then have this relationship with them for years. Our kids have become close friends and we can talk deeply about road life and yeah. homeschool life. And, and how and completely organic it is too sometimes. It's just crazy how open the community is. We never said, okay, for sure we're gonna do this. Let's research a little more. Dustin totally surprised me one day and said, I've got the bus on the auction. Our whole plan just was ever changing. So we'd say like, you don't even need a solid plan. If you really want it, it'll come together.
What is the number one mineral that beats stress, fatigue, and helps you get better sleep? It's magnesium, but not just any magnesium. This is magnesium breakthrough from Bioptimizers, and it combines the seven essential forms of magnesium to help you sleep better, stress less, and just generally experience more peace throughout your day. Now, most magnesium supplements fail because they use synthetics or preservatives, but when you get all seven critical forms of magnesium, you get a serious upgrade from your brain to your body, your sleep gets better, muscle tension goes down, and so does pain and inflammation. With this one simple action, you can reverse magnesium deficiency in all of its forms and start feeling the benefits quickly. So click the link in the description below and go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb to get a 10% discount using code Florb10 at checkout on Magnesium Breakthrough. I recommend you check it out. When I take it, I notice a difference in my sleep. I'm almost done with this bottle here. Uh, so click the link in the description or the pinned comment and go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb and use code Florb10 for a 10% discount. Thank you for watching. Have a great week.